Well, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to a bittersweet, yeah, final vlog that we don't call a vlog. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is our last one. We've made it, as you can see, to I uh, to Iona to Lindisfarne. Yeah. This is Lindisfarne Castle, just behind us, mm. and uh, we 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 we've done it. Yeah. We've traveled 320 odd miles. Crazy. In the footsteps of Saint Aidan. Yeah. Yeah. What a crazy time it's been, an amazing time it's been. I remember three weeks ago, had a view very similar to this one with I, uh, Iona Abbey behind us. And yes. Now here we're sitting with uh, Lindisfarne Castle behind us. Um, and since then, it's just been such a, a joy. I, um, I, you know, I don't re remember laughing this much this often in ages. We, we've uh, laughed a lot. Yeah, it's been so fun. Charlie uh, told us last night, um, that that he's being referred to as the toe guy. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, and and that's got to stop. And and and, and that he wants a spin-off series. <laughs> um, not sure, but um, yeah. yeah. What what are some of your other memories? Oh man, yeah, it's been amazing. Um, obviously, the beauty of of yeah. uh, this whole journey has been incredible. From uh, you know Highlands of Scotland. Uh, I swam at Iona in the well. You it was a pretty it, brief swim. It was pretty Venice. brief. It was quite late at night and it was cold. Uh, I, I I dunked in the water, uh, but then swam in the rivers of the Highlands. Swam in Loch Lomond. Um, just beautiful landscapes. Uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, the 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 drove roads just did something to me. Mm. Uh, it was really special. Those um, are my favorite. I never expected that. Yeah. I, I always thought that, you know, the, the great romantic sort of mountains of Mull, yeah. you know, the, the islands, the highlands, Loch yeah. Lomond, would be the, the big, big wow. And yeah. it is pretty impressive. But there's something about just the big skies and the open moorlands, and it's just deserted yeah. around the, the border hills. Yeah. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, it rarely feels like something just starts to sink and, yeah. and take root. Uh, in, well, in well and, and Rich, speaking of things sinking and taking root, I'd love just to reflect a tiny bit on our spiritual mm. journey as well as the physical one that we've been on. This is, after all, not tourism but pilgrimage. Yeah. And um, I remember on that first night on Iona, mm. um, 20 episodes ago. Yeah. Um, you and Charlie were needing a bit of convincing about the whole Celtic thing. Yeah. You as a South African, him as a South Korean, yeah. both millennials. Yes. And I said, okay, challenge accepted. Yeah. How have I done? I think you've done well, Pete. Thank I think you. I think you've done well. I think people can also comment whether, whether they think you've done well. Um, I mean, now I feel I've reconnected with my Celtic roots. I'm, uh, I'm uh, yeah. gone into, obviously you've explained um, the, the, the order of the mustard seed and, yeah. and the six practices around that, which have been really helpful. I've been taking them into my uh, uh, prayers as I've, uh, as I've journeyed um, uh, through this pilgrimage, which has been really good. Um, hearing about the life of St. Aidan uh, and and other Celtic um, fathers and mothers, um, and the way that they modelled this other way, that again mm. in our culture it's so easy to be brought pulled left, pulled right, and actually the the third and true way is the way of Jesus. Yeah. Um, and I think the way that Aidan modelled that in his fiery, compassionate love, um, I think the way that they they both modeled grassroots and then top down and and knew how to challenge power but also to befriend to work and with power, work yeah. with yeah um so it's just been it's 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 been really eye-opening and, and and something that i want to take with me into my uh in, into my journey with jesus yeah going forward yeah I, i've really valued the, the sense of coming back to the essence of things, mm. um, both in terms of, you know, celebrating those Celtic, great Celtic stories, mm. reminding me of what really matters, but also just with you guys, just, you know, three guys, we only two guys yeah. in a van on the road, yeah. 
praying, um, eating, waking, walking, laughing. Um, it's good for the soul. Yeah. And, you know, it's not an easy time to, to, to be a, a Christian leader. And it's been so refreshing just to be in a space that's been non-toxic, that's been simple. Mm. Um, uh, and I think I feel kind of recharged as I return to yeah. normality. How about you? you? You did that amazing song yesterday. Yeah really reflecting on the T.S. Eliot line about, you know, in, in our ending is our beginning. Yeah. And we've said, I think, throughout that pilgrimage is really to help us live our whole lives as, as pilgrims. Yes. What, yeah. what does that look like for you as, you know, head back down yeah. south tomorrow? What's, what's the pilgrimage look like from you? Yeah. For you from here? So in one way, I think it is really simple and that this pilgrimage has felt like a microcosm of our life journey uh, and that is a life journey with Jesus towards Jesus yeah um, and and so part of it is just keeping it really simple like that um, but then there, there are other things I have felt there's been particular words that God's spoken to me particular wounds that he's just slowly just cleaned out uh, as as I've been walking that I feel like I can uh, step in to um, this next this next season, uh, just a lot freer, a lot lighter. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going home a little bit, bit more in love with Jesus, really. Yeah. Um, and, and Rich, uh, loads of people have been asking about your music. It's been amazing. Uh, these songs that you've just seems to have just so effortlessly produced on the road, and you played the stunning. Um, are, are you going to do anything with them? I know a lot of people are hoping you'll, you know, make a, an album or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, thank you for all the all the comments, all the, all the love. Um, yes, yes, I will. Um, so, so what I'm doing is going to just take like a a bootleg uh, copy of of the songs that we've done already because I know some people just loved. Uh, wanted to be able to hear the songs just in all one swoop, but still have the birds and the dogs barking and yeah. and all that. So there'll be a, kind of like an unpolished uh, bootleg that's available today, uh, and um, and and so you can go and check out Rich Dawson whether you listen on Spotify, iTunes, uh, or Apple Music, wherever. Um, and then I'm I'm going to be doing proper recordings of them uh, but obviously want to spend a bit more time polishing those up so there's something that's available now um, and and then there's something that will will come with a bit better production uh, soon well I'm sure I speak on behalf of a lot of people saying you can't wait and please don't polish them up too much <laughs> no um, uh, well that, that's absolutely fantastic and and Pete what about you so you came here partly because you've done it already yeah um, and this time wasn't about just doing it again for the sake of it it, it was to start working on your book yeah lo lots of people have really kindly been asking about the book really appreciate that obviously and uh, feel so privileged that we've not just got to do this but get into create what I think is going to be a really beautiful uh, book and uh, it's, it's going to come out next year um, I've got to finish writing it um, and you know, there's a lot to do to to to, to, to create a book, but I, I, it will come out around this time, I think, next year. Yeah. And um, still not fully decided on the title, but it will combine um, two sections. The first section will be really an exploration of pilgrimage, uh, the significance of pilgrimage, uh, of the life of Aden, and a little bit about Celtic spirituality and its prophetic significance for us in contemporary society today. The second section will probably just be called Journal, and it, it will have the 21 devotionals from Lecture 365 for each of the days, but it will also have blessings, prayers, sketches I've been drawing as we've been yeah. traveling. They've been amazing I've um, been what, uh, seeing some of them. And, and just meditations. I, mm. One of the things I've really enjoyed is that doing this has made me 
find God and reflect on God in things I wouldn't normally sitting at home. So mm. even on this and on, on Lectio, you know, we, we've had devotionals on the significance of islands, on the spirituality of walking. Mm. You know, we, we've talked about things I think we wouldn't normally talk about. So I'm interested in, 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 in just meditations on, on some of the, the, the landscape, the seasons, uh, and the experiences along the way. So I hope that book will be uh, a gorgeous thing, a beautiful thing, yeah. um, in itself an act of worship, yeah. um, and something that takes what we've got to experience and enables loads of other people yeah. around the world to experience them too. So I'm really excited. Appreciate your prayers as, as, as you know, try and pull all of this together and, and try and you know do justice mm. to the beauty of the scenery, um, the extraordinary life of St. Aidan who yeah. built this uh, monastery here and became the apostle to the English. Mm. And uh, you know, that, that we can do justice to just to the fun that we've had on the road. So yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We've really, really, uh, we, at the start, you know, actually just traveling up here, we said, shall we do a vlog thing? <laughs> yeah. And I was pretty nervous about it. Yeah. I'm pretty insecure. Um, never done anything like this before. And then um, once we'd done two or three and people had said really lovely things, we thought, oh, rats, we've got to do them every day. <laughs> so we've made it. We've, we've done 21. We've done it, yeah. No, not too many disasters. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's good. Thanks so much, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye. Well, Rich, we got away with it. <laughs> And the, the blue, the blue screen, the green screen, the green, green screen. The green screen yeah. worked no well, one didn't noticed. It? No one realised no we were just sitting and woking the whole yeah. time. I know, I know. Have you um, noticed the midges? Are, are back. Yeah, yeah, they're they're coming back. I know. We had a few good days without them. Yeah. They followed us. From yeah. Mal. And um, do you think we should have told them the truth about Charlie? No, okay, we'll just no. keep the myth going. No, 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 they he's, don't need to know. He's still alive. We got away with it. All right. <laughs>